Hello, I'm Pastor Sammy from Together Place Church in Circle Pines. These are just some short clips for you to watch, five or six minutes long, from a larger message called Warfare. I hope that you will find some benefit on how you can have victory over the enemy schemes in your life or lives around you that you care about. Again, thanks for joining us. And you can always go to our website that's showing togetherplacechurch.org and request prayer. We pray for people in the services. Thanks again for joining us. You, you are his favorite of all creation. You go beyond moons and stars and galaxies and mountains and hills and lakes and oceans. You are what pulls his eye. God had placed Adam and Eve in a perfect setting, a heavenly setting, a garden. And they could do anything. They could eat from any tree, any plant, all of that. But God gave them one rule. <laughs> one rule. And they couldn't keep it. And they went from a heavenly relationship perfect with God and a heavenly setting and they went from that to hiding. They were humiliated. This Lucifer is now being humiliated which is what God wants to do to the enemy in your life. The things that are hurting you, God wants to humiliate those things that seem to have power over you. He doesn't want to humiliate you and, and really focus on these. He's defeated, he's disarmed, and he is doomed. So what is his power? If that's all true, why are so many people falling away? Let's look at his name. The name in the Greek for Satan, the devil, they're the same in the New Testament. But it's slanderer, <laughs> um, false accuser. Diabolos. His only power is in what his name means. He slanders and he accuses. John 8 44 says, He is the father of lies. Or by the way, in the garden, what you will see is that Satan started the conversation. I said that last week. When Satan starts a conversation in your mind, you end it. You have no discussion with him. There is no such thing. You can't have a conversation with Satan because Satan controls by conversation. Because if he can get you to converse with him, then he knows he'll get, at the very least, compromise. Conversations with the enemy will lead to compromise. Satan deceived God's creation, his humanity. Now, if I were really mad at Satan, what would make sense if I were going to write this play, I would announce to the serpent that day that all the forces, hey, you haven't seen anything, Darth Vader's nothing, all the forces of heaven, all these heavenly beings are going to come down and crush you. They're going to be monsters. Satan, you're really in for it. But this gets really unbelievable. He's not doing that. You deceived my humanity. You deceived those people. Look at them closely, Satan, because I'm going to make an exchange. I'm going to become like them. You're going to be kicked in the teeth by humanity. God in a human form. You're going to look at flesh. That's what's going to defeat you. Not something from outer space. But I'm going to come down as a man who is tempted and sweats and bleeds and gets bruised. And you're, he's going to be hanging on a cross. And you're going to say, I won, I won. He's not going to look like much of a competitor. But guess what? When that, when that naked, broken, bruised, bleeding, spear in the side body says, it is finished. You're done, Satan. Satan, you're doomed. <laughs> we announced it, and you're defeated, you're disarmed, and you're doomed. By the way, you can have one conversation with Satan. You can have a conversation as long as you start it. Just never participate in one that he starts. See, I start conversations with the enemy, and I just say, in the name of Jesus, I bind you. I, I need to take authority over him. 
That's the way the conversation needs to start. Get thee behind me, Satan. You do not have in mind the things of God. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Amen.